This is the Kane Show on demand. This is the one. Don't you think if you really had clairvoyant powers and could tell the future, you would <laughs> no. Hey, Scooby! Scooby, Scooby, do. Forget, forget the rest of the song. I just like the beginning of it. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, you would know that there was going to be a War of the Roses done on you, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. You would think. However, uh, in this case, nah, not so much. No. Uh, and a matter of fact, it's the most expensive War of the Roses that we've ever done, uh, considering we had to buy gift cards so that we could go ahead and uh, turn it off, John, so we can go ahead and pay for it. Because he demanded payment in advance. There we go. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When Cain calls your man, he'd better choose you. Rebecca, you say he is a contractor, and that's his main job. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's uh, another job he has. Yeah. Okay. And then his yeah. other job is being is is really being paid to be a psychic. the spiritual advisor psychic. slash psychic. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah, he gets paid a good amount of money. Yes. Um, his fee is pretty hefty. Oh, trust me, I know. It's co- we. Uh, it costs us two hundred and fifty dollars because we. Um, been doing some background. Well, a, a, a kind of a side note here. Uh, we used. Uh, I didn't want to. No, no one on the show obviously wanted to put their own credit cards down. Hell no. So we went and got a uh, Amex uh, oh. card. You used the company card, like to get the, the Amex um, card, yeah. like the the prepaid uh, well, Amexes. Yeah. Um, we we already sent it, the number to Steve. The payment went through. So he is expecting a call from us. But here's the thing, and this this is kind of how I want to approach it rather than doing a normal roses, is if he's really a psychic and a spiritual advisor, don't you think he'd know that we're calling? That we're calling? Yes. I would think. Yeah. Right. And this all started, by the way, Rebecca, I didn't even know this could happen, but just FYI, so if you if you have an iPhone and I do. it's not locked, right, yeah. and right. you push the bottom button... And yeah, the it, it was on the call screen. It, it was on the keypad screen. And you hit yeah. the green button. Mm-hmm. It will redial the last number. Okay. I didn't, well, I didn't know this at the time. I Whoa. just grabbed the phone, you know, and I, I, I guess that's what I did. I, okay. hit, I hit call, and it called, uh, it called the last number. But her, it was not listed under any name. And what I it found was, suspicious yeah. was the it fact was, that the woman who answered said what? So um, then all I hear through the speaker is this woman's voice saying, oh, hey, I I thought you couldn't talk to me. And then that's when I grabbed the phone to my ear. And I was like, hello? And the woman on the other end heard my voice, and and her attitude all of a sudden changed. And she's like, hello? And I said, well, who's this? And she's like, who's this? And before I could even get into anything, she hung up on me. Okay. Really? Um, so we have her number. I, I We can always call her. Um, but I love the fact that, and listen, so you're, in your email to us, it says he didn't save her number in his uh, contacts list. He actually saved, saved her number in notes. Which, oh, wow. I got to be honest. I would never search somebody's notes to look for a phone number. No, no that's think of that. kind of genius, actually. So he would copy yeah. and paste her number over. You could probably even just push down on it, I would assume. Oh, or and, that, and too. And call from there. All right. Yeah, so, it's highlighted when it's in the note. But we don't know her name, and we don't know anything about her. No. Other other than he just had a conversation with her. So let me do this. Let me, she's a client. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no, that's a possibility. So that's why I want you to be quiet until we find out more information. Okay. But again, if he's psychic and clairvoyant, this should be very easy mm-hmm. to... Uh, figure out because he'll be like i'm not falling for this thing i know y'all are calling from the kane show (laughs) (laughs) or you should answer hey kane right yeah i know that should already be known hang on by the way yes uh most expensive roses ever done on the show yes (laughs) 250 bucks hopefully we use it i know (laughs) if if he he goes hey kane i'm like shoot i'll go for a second reading or if he sends it to rebecca Hi, I'm calling for Steve. Uh, speaking. Hey, Steve, it's Mark. How are you? Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Tell me how I can help you with the rest of your life. Uh, 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 well, I don't. I, I don't have that answer, which is why I wanted. To 
to use a psychic. Great, great. Well, we're definitely uh, excited to have you explore your feature. Are you are you seated? Am I seated? Yes. Go ahead. Shoes on or off? <laughs> My shoes are on. <laughs> okay. If you could um, take them off and have them face east. Face east. Okay. East. Direct to east. Thank you. All right, now Do both. you need water in the room? Hold on just a second here. Um, do you want both shoes facing east? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, there's no... I Heels. do not believe there's any water Heels in the room, no. with the shoes. There's, there's no water near you, no fish tanks, no glasses of water? No, there's not. Okay. Can, yeah. I, can I ask what, what that has to do with anything? Uh, you know, it, it's really just about how the energy moves throughout the room. And 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 what we're doing now is is we're we're attuning our, our spirits to what's available for you. So there are spirits in the room with me right now. Yes. Are your eyes closed? Can I ask a couple questions okay. from you? Did you see any of this coming? To see our interaction coming, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but beyond that, other than the experience we're having right now, this is this is the, the only chance of nothing. What experience are we having right now? This current conversation. Great job answering as generically as possible. But did you see all well, of this if, coming? If, well, you know, you have to understand that any biases you bring into your reality are going to find themselves extrapolated across the board. So, oh man! If if you have any resistance now, it would be a, a strong indication why you might feel like money. And both love are going to be increasing for you. In this well, that, that's great. I have a prediction too. Um, <laughs> money and love might be not increasing for you. Yep. Look, if you, if you think this is funny, I get pranked all the time. But you're the one who paid two hundred and fifty dollars this time. Oh, well, I'm, not, so I'm, not wanna, you, I'm not pranking you. You want to play a game? And you, I'm not pranking you. Think this you. is funny. Go ahead. No, I'm not pranking you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking if you saw it coming. What I see coming is Did, that yeah. everyone's future is secure, mm. yours included. Not and yours. Mine. I have a reading that. that you're about to get a surprise, a surprise that you may not have expected well, or may have. I would, I would, I wouldn't imagine a surprise that was not expected would be perhaps a shifting job to op, op, you know opportunity. Yeah, for me or for you? Um, I'm feeling for you. How's your relationship with your parents? About as good as your relationship is with Rebecca. Who the f- is Melanie? What? What? Did you see this coming? Ridiculous. You're a piece of I'm you're at little- work. I'm at, I'm at work. I'm working. I don't know why I don't know why you would bother me. This is important. No, no, she she's working with us. My name is Kane. But you knew that. Uh, yeah, right. And right. Uh, psychic? Yep. What do I do for a living? Work with your hands. I don't know. You don't know. Work for money. I host a radio show, and uh, you're being taped right now because Rebecca uh, apparently had a conversation with some woman that pick, that answered. I, I don't. I, I guess she was cleaning up, uh, accidentally hit redial on your phone, uh, and a number got dialed that had no name associated with it. The woman that picked up said, uh, in a surprised tone, "I thought you couldn't talk to me." And she she then picked up the phone and was like, "Who is this?" And the other woman said, "Who is this?" And then it ended up hanging up. So she got suspicious, and turns out that why are you keeping phone numbers in notes rather than in your contact list? And then you go ahead and you tell me about your love life here during this two hundred fifty dollars psychic reading. Yeah, the call's two hundred fifty bucks. I don't know what you think you're getting over. I've got your money. I don't. I, the, I, the money's not the, the issue. No. The, do you understand? It? It's the fact that Rebecca w- wanted to have her suspicions con- confirmed that you're cheating. Mm-hmm. I, I uh, what? So you you've just paid me two hundred and fifty dollars to know that she goes through my phone? No, I, I just free. paid you two hundred fifty dollars to help her realize that you're a waste of time and that she needs to move on. And by the way, I've got your credit card number, and it's a reoccurring charge. How do you feel about that? <laughs> like okay. a membership number. Number one, it's oh, a prepaid God. Amex, so you don't. <laughs> Whoops! But you <laughs> right? But you saw that one coming. <laughs> nice try. I have no reason Want to be more angry. roses? I Keyword, roses. Oh, there you go. See? It's the it's the psychic ability to see that stuff coming. And... <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, I'm working. Working. Yeah. If you want us to do a rose on someone who you think may be stepping out on you, we'd love to help out. All you got to do is hit us with an email. Just give us a gist of the story. We'll take care of the rest.
the love of the brain. Oh, I'm predicting Rihanna's going to play too. The Kane Show. Hear more at KaneShow.com.